At long last, Google has decided to make a true iPad competitor a 10-inch tablet, and it is running the latest and greatest in Jelly Bean. It has the Nexus branding. Let's get this guy out of the box. This is, of course, our review unit, so we don't have the, un the nuts and bolts unboxing, if you will, but we'll do our best. I wonder how Google's gonna keep on keeping track of all these numbers, because they have the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 10, but the Nexus 4 is a phone, but the Nexus 7 is a tablet. I'm just saying, it's getting a little messy in the Nexus world. Okay, focus, focus. All righty, ooh, check this guy out. This is actually much more like the Surface in that it's very rectangular. You can tell it's probably meant to be viewed horizontally more often than vertically. Seems just a little less squared off than the iPad. It has a nice surface on the back, actually. It's sort of plastic and a little bit tacky, by which I mean it doesn't slide around as much. Like, you grab an iPad these days and it just goes flying. This, not so much. Oh, okay, our screen's already coming on. Nicely preloaded with apps because Eric Franklin's been having a good time with this back in the CNET lab. It's a nice looking thing. Let's see what else we have in the box. Not much. There we go, our ugly little charging brick and of course, our Nexus quick start guide or like I mentioned earlier, the only tech support you're ever likely to get with a Nexus product. Sorry, that's just how it is. At least there's a warranty. And that is all, okay. Let's talk specs, find out why you might wanna choose this over an iPad. The Nexus 10 tablet is built by Samsung. It is a true 10 inch tablet. It has a 10 inch diagonal display with a 2560 by 1600 pixel resolution. The front is Corning Gorilla Glass 2, so it should be pretty durable. Of course, we'll try that out. The weight is about 1.3 pounds, a little bit heavy, but it actually doesn't feel that heavy. There's micro HDMI out. It has a five megapixel camera on the back and a front facing 1.9 megapixel camera. There's Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and NFC. And of course, this tablet is running Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, so you can really take advantage of some of those cool Jelly Bean features like the Google Now cards. What is Google's stock price? Google is down 0.37%. The Nexus 10 has two ways to charge, micro USB, and that cable is included in the box, or a magnetic pogo pin charger. Now that's gonna charge the tablet a lot faster, but you have to buy the charger separately. It's $399 for 16 gigs or $499 for 32 gigs. If you are looking for a 10 inch tablet this holiday season, I have to say this is looking like the strongest iPad competitor I've seen in a long time. Unlike previous Android tablets, it's running a truly completed operating system. Jelly Bean is fun to use, it has a lot of useful features, and it's easy to figure out, unlike Honeycomb. Plus, I think the pricing is very smart. Starting this tablet at $399 means, frankly, it's kind of a better value than a new iPad. I would give this one a serious look.